Hi guys, today. Hey guys, what's up? It's Epic Tales back with another video. Do not forget to like, comment, and subscribe, and hit that bell notification. Um, what was going on? Alien life force contained. That was a close one. You know how I chose her as my queen? Lord of the Rings. <laughs> Let me explain. So we go on a date, and of course the girl is feeling the boy. So I'm like, hey, why don't we go back to my place? I watch some Netflix. Wink wink. Everybody knows you cannot be slow in the fast game. So of course she was like, uh well, okay, sure. We go to my place, sit down on the love couch. And I put on Lord of the Rings, the extended version. Pause. So 90% of the time, at this point, when I bring a girl home and uh, I put Lord of the Rings or Attack on Titans or some nerdy stuff, you know what I'm talking about. 90% of the time, the girls are just like looking at their phone, checking the watch, like they're thinking in their head, Ah, uh, when does the chilling part of this Netflix start? You know? And for those ones, I'm like, I already know, man, nothing long term can happen. But with my queen here, I, after I put on a uh, lot of the ring, the extended version, she was watching and I could tell that she was concentrated. She was following the story. She was engrossed in it. After a while, she looked at me and she's like, ah, oh, this movie is so unrealistic. And I'm like, oh shit, so she's part of the 90%. She was like, they've been running from mountain to mountain, from different places to different places. When did they eat breakfast? Guys, when she did that, I died. I was just laughing. Like, I just, I just died, man. I mean, Gandalf just basically fought off the Balrog, saved everybody's life. And for her, the show is not realistic because she didn't see them eating breakfast and they were doing a lot of running. I was like, you know what? This one has potential as a queen. She's not a nerd, but like... I'm going to turn her into one. That's my secret plan. <laughs> ah... So this is another booktube love letter and um, on this one, I'm going to be talking about thumbnails. Thumbnails are very important because they are what gets you new viewers. A thumbnail can make or break a video. If your content is quality, your content is funny, you've done some crazy edits, you know, you just dropped some knowledge on a book review or something, but your thumbnail doesn't attract people, there was no point like nobody's gonna watch it you know i found out recently that my thumbnails as far as the my analytics are concerned have been doing very well and i'm not like a big youtuber or anything but i'm getting a decent amount of views from new people who are just checking out my content for the first time so let's get into it we are book readers do you know how rare that makes us we read books in today's generation in this time this is my vision for this tag booktubers helping booktubers i believe that ali from the book being just this same vision because she has a channel on her discord server that is dedicated to reviewing booktuber channels i've seen so many booktubers improve as a result check out her discord link in the description you already know the drill go there youtube studios content so i made a claim earlier that my thumbnails are doing well it's a very simple process let me show you how i do it what do you notice about these three thumbnails the theme is the same in all three all three have a dark smoky background same color theme and they are all simple why is it important that they all have the same theme this is so that the people that like your stuff will be able to identify it among other thumbnails so create your own unique thumbnails don't copy mine <laughs> let's go back to that claim i made let's go to this shove it up your tbr video um reach so my impression click through rate is eight percent so out of 1600 people eight percent of people clicked and that is 128 people so from just my thumbnail looking good i got 128 views right there you can see it let's go to the next one reach 12 percent so that is out of 1200 people that viewed this thumbnail 12 percent of them clicked and i got 140 views from that alone that's good and then prince of thorns review my latest one <laughs> mark lawrence liked and retweeted this video so check it out but anyway um this one out of 700 impressions 13.7% of people clicked 
and i got 96 views from that alone so thumbnails are huge so let's try and recreate this one with the highest click-through rate there are a few things you need to do in preparation the first one is to cut out your images and the second one is to sharpen them so i'll just show you how i cut out my images and I, like i'll show you like a quick hack there's this website is called remove.bg and what it does is that it removes the background of pictures so all you have to do is drag a picture there and it's just going to remove the background okay so this will need some cleaning up but uh it's fine um so download and uh yeah i just cut it out to save some time and to make it look cleaner but that app like helps you get it done much much faster so the next thing i said is that you have to make it sharper right what i do is that i try and make it as sharp as possible and um, i play around with these um, items to see what will make it stand out the most so not too much contrast maybe a little bit more of exposure um, saturation just a little bit so that the picture looks warm and um, i know it looks weird here but when you put it on the thumbnail all that does is that it makes it stand out and it doesn't look this weird on the thumbnail and you want your thumbnails to stand out also you must always select a picture that has an expression i go with exaggerated expressions but they don't have to be exaggerated but come on if you saw epic with this expression on his face wouldn't you want to know why he has it that's the idea be behind that so i'm not going to use this picture right here because we are trying to recreate the thumbnail that had the highest click to it canva is pretty easy to use a lot of booktubers i know use it I go to create a design type youtube find youtube thumbnails so that you get the correct size of things so when you go there i have already uploaded all the pictures that i need so i'm just going to go to uploads so remember how i spoke about having the same theme so look i select this is the same background i used in all three thumbnails see smoky background and then um the picture of myself i used so let me show you something look at this picture do you see that that looks good that looks good that looks attractive but this looks more attractive why because it's been cut out so it looks like it is on top of the background and that makes it stand out a lot more uh, that forehead though <laughs> uh, anyway yeah so this is the next picture i used you know just put that right there reduce the size of this head it's too big uh and then um yeah so this is supposed to represent yog this is the necromancer and this is my big head so we're already like almost done already i told you it's very simple so add heading i always use the same font why keep the theme the same so that your viewers can always find your stuff even if they are looking at a hundred thumbnails they can be like ah that is this booktuber or that booktuber that I love. Let me click and see what video they released. So, trash or pass, you know? And uh, I like to keep my font the same as well so that you know when Epic Tail drops a trash or pass video. The trash is green, which is a color that I use a lot. Green is actually my favorite color. The pass is red done what i'm about to show you walker right 7 showed me how to do on a channel on my discord it's called share information on that channel if you have any questions about thumbnails or something you want to learn to improve your content as a booktuber then uh, you just ask the question and somebody will pick it up if they know it and help you out with it i'm going to select york now go to effects go to glow and then change this to red because it's york it has to be red and then look at that you can manipulate the size the transparency and the blur i like it a little bit blurry i don't I like it like just about that not too much and i like it just like this stands out but not too much and uh yeah this looks good and then i do the same for the necromancer effects glow glow 
I change this to purple because she already has a purple thing going. Keep it consistent, you know. And then, yeah, I just do that. And then for the text, I go to effects. I select that and you can do an offset like that, however you like it. And uh, yeah, that's basically how I make my thumbnails. Keep the theme the same. So this is a bit counterintuitive, but the more colors you use, the less likely your stuff will stand out among other thumbnails. What you want is to use simple colors and not a lot of them on one thumbnail. So this is how I make my thumbnails. I hope this helps somebody out there. The last thing I want is for you to develop a toxic relationship with analytics. Above is a video that talks about analytic mental health on booktube. So guys, my queen has this small business that she's running. She sells lip products, candles, lip oil you know all that girly stuff all her products are homemade vegan and natural kumari beauty sexy lips i approve she ships worldwide so buy something show some support to you epic screen now um a lot of people were telling me your last shove it up your tbr video there was no structure to it maybe if it was a little bit more organized guys it's a love letter it's a love letter i'm writing to book to you it is not uh, supposed to be organized per se like remember when you were in high school or i don't know middle school and you wrote love a love letter to that girl like sitting across you was it organized wasn't it chaotic now that you think about it oh i remember a love letter i wrote once it was so cringe but uh yeah and it didn't work Oh, baby, I love you. Do you love me? <laughs> but anyway, even that video, I was able to break it down, like a breakdown in structure. I start with telling a story. A funny story. Uh, I hope you guys find my stories funny. After that, I tell you the information I'll be giving to the booktube community. And then I do like a how-to kind of video. And then I shout out people slash tag them. Plus, nobody responded to the shove it up your TVR video. A lot of people watched it and a lot of people liked it. And a lot of people left comments, but nobody like took on that tag. This time, I'm going to tag people. Let's start with Andrew. That I used to be young and pretty. And now I'm just pretty. Andrew is my boy, man. I love that guy. Like, he proofreads a Cradle of Chaos so that y'all don't see my spelling mistakes, you know, saving me the embarrassment. I would love to see his interpretation of this tag. So, this is just a suggestion. You do whatever you want to do with it, Andrew. But I want to know the logistics of releasing three videos a week. How have you consistently done that? And you're also like a new booktuber, too. My dude is releasing three quality videos every week. Check out his channel hopefully he can give us some knowledge and yeah i have a small beef with you why does my girl watch more of your videos than she watches mine does she have a crush on you andrew hmm next i'm going to be tagging the queen of nerds herself leslie at the nerdy narrative oh queen oh great one please bless us with the knowledge of your lighting i want to know the angle you put the camera and the lighting in your videos because i've been trying to copy it for so long and this is what i've come up with so far grant us with this small favor oh great queen I love her channel so much. I wish someone like Leslie was around when I was growing up. First of all, I've read so many books. Is it just me or does she make reading fun again? Does she bring that childish excitement to, to grab a book and get lost in the in a world again? I really love her channel. She really is the queen of nerds. Definitely. Deep talks about books and stuff. I'm telling you, he can convince anyone to do anything. Luckily, he's a good guy. So I've been on live streams, but I've never hosted a live stream on this channel before i have a fear that if i did uh, nobody would show up would you guys like to see a live stream let me know down in the comments but anyway before that live stream happens steve i want to know how you do it i want to know what app you use i want to know how you set up the graphics for the live stream you know the background graphics and stuff i want to know how you get such good questions please do a booktube love letter booktube info tag showing us what your process for setting up a live stream is like and if you guys want to see an example of how good his live streams are you should check out his interview with mike thorne he got mike thorne i don't know how he got mike thorne but he got mike thorne on his channel 
it was so informational so good watch the video it's fun and you see why it's him i'm going to give me advice on live streams david decero david decero i love this guy's channel i don't think i've missed one video that he's posted since i discovered his channel there are a few booktubers i can say that about the guy's content is always so dope and so he does this thing uh decero diary where he basically talks about what's going on in the booktube community he tells you his favorite booktube video it's just so much fun to watch it's an interactive way to stay knowledgeable on what is going on in the booktube community to be honest if you're not subscribed to this guy and watching his content you're tripping man you're tripping so hard go subscribe david like you i'm also a writer and a booktuber how do you do it like run me through your process like when do you find time to write how do you find inspiration you know i was reading uh steve Stephen King's book on writing and he said something very interesting he said the best writers right read a lot of course like just watching your channel and see your book reviews so good like what is your process like I, I'm really really interested in knowing what your process is like I'm sure you do like a really good interpretation of this your edits are cool ah, I can't praise you enough I'll move to the next person Drew where do I start you are an OG in the game bless us with knowledge oh wise one bless us with knowledge Stacy all booked ah oh, man she's becoming one of my best friends on booktube right now man like the first time i saw stacy's channel i knew instantly right that the both of us would have good chemistry there's some celebrities you watch online you're like wow me and this celebrity will be friends pause two things with those statements first of all i'm comparing stacy to a celebrity why it's only a matter of time before a channel blows up join the bandwagon now before it transforms into a spaceship and blast off into space yeah like her content is so good some people have told me me. You're always so positive. Dope, dope, dope. Besides Stacy, I'm like Sandan Glockter. She is so positive and is so infectious. Stacy, I give you the free reigns. Please interpret this tag for us, please. Like, uh, I'm sure to be fun. If you love Epic Tales, you're going to love Stacy. It is criminal that she has less than 100 subs. Like, go and sub right now. Right? I mean, like, right now. Sub. Uh, Epic Tales has told you to do so. <sighs> so um, I don't know if you guys have noticed that my new painting of King T'Challa I'm not gonna talk about this too long this tribute is like maybe a year late now but when Chadwick Boseman died like I was I was actually like really hurt um, this is a tribute to King T'Challa, Chadwick Boseman. It is impossible to weigh the depth of how much his interpretation of the Black Panther made a people with such a traumatic history feel about themselves. The idea of Wakanda, that... In light of this, educate yourself about Black Wall Street. Wakanda forever. Whoa, okay, I made it back. As I was saying, follow me on Instagram, join my Discord channel so we can have a conversation. If you like green dark fantasy, you guys will love my book. It's called Cradle of Chaos. It's so dark. It's darkest than the deepest sea. Like, it is so dark, guys. Like, comment, subscribe. You know the drill. Stay epic and peace. <laughs> Bye.